Hey everyone, welcome to my unboxing, review, and photo gallery of the Ralph McQuarrie Stormtrooper statue by Sideshow. Of the three characters in Sideshow's Ralph McQuarrie line, the Stormtrooper was, for many reasons, the one I had to have. I'll tell you why in a minute, but for now, let's just get this guy open. All right, naturally, let's start with the packaging. Um, it's the uh, typical sideshow design, um, as we've been seeing from them for years. And again, as I've said before, the uniformity of it is nice because if you were one to display your boxes with your figures, then this would be the way to do it. The uniformity maintains a consistency across the display that doesn't distract from the pieces. So if you had your several different pieces from quarter scale to fifth scale to sixth scale all the way down the line, um, the packaging won't distract from them, from them, and that's a good thing. The art on this particular box has a special place for me, though, because the photography was done by me um, in my time when I was at Sideshow. So I'm not exactly being impartial when I make that judgment. Let's see, here we go, getting it open. Um, first look at the pieces on the inside. Still wrapped up, not as usual, in just plain old white tissue paper. Just does a fine job. It's very adequate for uh, this kind of paint, for keeping, it, keeping the packaging from chafing it. Uh, look at this base whole lot of mechanics going on you can see this thing actually being a functional having a functional role in the star wars universe um great design on that um i, I want to say that that was an early example of that particular um design aesthetic for bases with sideshow when they decided to make that shift to what they're doing more and more today um typical uh key keyhole sort of a thing with the feet there just slides right in very easy very cool um I have to say, the, um, as a note, this thing seems pretty solid on the base. I don't foresee any sort of, um, of lean issues. This lightsaber blade is beautiful. Look at that clear resin that they used. It almost has a glowing effect just standing by itself, and I really appreciate that. Um, the shield, uh, you'll notice the paint on the shield is... It just brings up the paint in general. The Sideshow artist actually painted this statue in a way that would kind of kind of mimic a three-dimensional representation of Ralph McQuarrie's style. So you can actually see this thing, no matter what the lighting scenario would be, it will mimic the look of a Ralph McQuarrie painting. That's a very, very cool thing for them to do. It's not the first time they've done something like that, trying to recreate the um, an environmental um, effect of light on a statue. Um, sometimes, usually it's more subtle, other times it's more noticeable, say in the case of the uh, Mythos Darth Vader statue. The last piece I'm going to show you here is a switch out blaster pistol that can replace the lightsaber hand. This will be of particular use for collectors who put this piece into a sort of high traffic area where they run the risk of somebody bumping into and or snapping off the lightsaber in some way. Um, it's a really cool effect. It's actually, it's the blaster pistol is featured in a painting of Ralph McQuarrie's of the Stormtrooper. So it's, yeah, it's perfectly appropriate. In the Ralph McQuarrie line, Sideshow released three separate pieces. There was this one, there was also a version of Ralph McQuarrie's Darth Vader, and an early concept of Boba Fett. Um, of the three, I think this one is clearly the standout. I know that a lot of people will argue about that and say that, well, no, Vader is clearly the one because of that very iconic um, image painting of Darth Vader uh, battling what would eventually become either Luke Skywalker or Han Solo, probably Luke Skywalker. At any rate, everything about this piece, from the battle-ready posture, to the lovely paint, to the intricacies of that base, it just stands out to me amongst the three as the one that would probably be most desirable we had. Plus, I have a distinct memory of opening one of those collector's edition magazines back in the late 70s and catching my first glimpse of that Ralph McQuarrie painting of this very character. So of course I was gonna go for this. Your memories might be different if that's the case. Collecting is very subjective. But if you like what you see here, there are still a few left at Sideshow, so hurry up and grab your own. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.